nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Well, good morning, good morning, guys We are heading over to our terminal And then we'll go pick up our trailer And then we'll go over to our delivery place and uh, drop it over there that's all we're doing over there and then I guess the waiting game will start for a reload yeah we'll just have to see what kind of reload we will get right well, look at this rush hour traffic here man oh man that's a lot of traffic luckily I'm going the other way <laughs> wow that is bumper to bumper traffic, man. My goodness. Oh well. That's the way it is sometimes. No, it's just a short drive just to the next light. And we make a right and then a left and then we're right at our terminal. It's a very short distance drive from our terminal to Master Stake, so. That's why I don't mind just dropping the trailer over there and then I can use personal time to bobtail over to wherever I want you know it's only a couple of two miles maybe you know there we go but it looks like it's a gorgeous morning up here today it really does look like a nice morning guy that I uh, met before that's driving here to the left I don't know if the camera can pick it up there but look like it yeah so we'll do whatever we got to do and then uh, we'll see you guys a little bit later well guys we uh, finished doing our delivery yeah when we uh, got over to our delivery place they uh, Dispatcher was kind enough to send us a reload. Yeah, right away he sent me a reload. I was pretty impressed. And so uh, we are trying to get out of Toronto now. We are uh, going to go a little bit south here, about half an hour, 45 minutes or so. And then we'll do a trailer switch up there. Guess what, where we're heading to? Alabama, yeah. I'm happy, happy, happy about that. That's a nice, nice trip. It really is. I love it. That's a, almost to the, well, about uh, 1,940 kilometers altogether from Toronto. So that's a good two days worth of driving. So, but since it's already Friday and it was hard to get out of Toronto, there's a lot of traffic there. Uh, it took a good while till we finally got onto 401. We probably won't be doing a whole lot of driving today. We'll do some driving, but would have been nice if I could have gotten out of there uh, if the traffic hadn't been so bad gotten out of there pretty quick I could have probably done very close to a thousand kilometers today and then I uh, could have done a reset on Sunday but I don't think that's going to happen I don't think we're going to be able to do a reset on Sunday but we'll see we'll see what happens all I know is we're on our way to Alabama right now. Well, first we gotta pick up our load, I guess, but... It's an amazing six degrees right now. It's pretty cold. Don't let that sun deceive you today. It's nice and sunny, but it's cold. It definitely is cold. Yeah. Well guys, this 
doesn't really look like a place where we would be picking up a load, but supposedly that's where the GPS is taking us. Yeah, apparently up here somewhere that's where our pickup location is. Now this, I don't know, looks like a residential area to me, but, uh, and we apparently do even do a, a trailer switch up here. But, oh, I see some kind of company up here on the right. Yeah, yeah, must be this one up here. Can't see it being any other company. Just gotta keep an eye on it. Well, it says shipping here. Owings, yeah, this is Owings. Uh, Owings uh, place, yeah, we got it. We have arrived. So. I guess I will see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty guys, we are at the customer. We're gonna go inspect the load and uh, put our seal on. They give us a seal. So let's go ahead and see. It looks good. Yeah, this is an old trailer, but yeah, well, let's see if we can open it up with one hand. There we go. Oh my, okay. All right, I guess I could uh, go ahead in here and see. It's supposed to be installation. Installation. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Nineteen hundred and ninety-two gross pounds. Wow, it's nine hundred and four kg. Oh my. Oh my. We might be heavy in the front. I thought this was going to be light stuff, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like 450 parole. Oh my. No, that's, no, no, that's not parole. 15. Oh no, that's just the a, just a size of it. But anyways, I'm just showing you guys a little bit on what we're getting here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab me a strap. And I'll put it right across there so that way... Uh, it can't fold backwards, right? So watch it. Okay. All right, I'll go get a strap and I'll do that, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, guys, here we are. We got our load. Yeah, we are happy, 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 happy now. We got our load. In 200 meters, turn right on Windhome Street South, Highway 7. We send off all our paperwork to the dispatch so they can start working on clearing my border crossing. Yeah, that usually can take some time. That usually takes some time. They say it can take up to four hours to get my border crossing In 200 clear. meters, turn left on Wellington Street East, Highway 24. Right. Yeah, and we're probably only about maybe two and a half hours away from the border. Oh boy, that's close. <laughs> Them tires are really close to that cement edge up there. <laughs> they certainly didn't make this highway for a truck road. But it says it's a truck road. Yeah, I have to pretty much be on that white line and it's still touching the cement there, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Some cities aren't made to be for truck, for big trucks anyways. Maybe they were back in the day when the trucks were smaller, you know. Just gotta be careful so I don't cut my tires open, you know. So, well, luckily for us, there is a truck stop close to the border where we uh, cross the border at. So we'll see if we uh, still don't uh, hear anything back from him saying that it's been cleared our border. By the time we get to that truck stop, we'll just be have we'll just have to pull into that truck stop, you know. 
Yeah, they got this whole thing under construction. Oh, come on there, four-wheeler. That was completely going over red. Oh, well. I guess if a cop saw that, he would have gotten a nice ticket. Yeah. Anyways, let's get out of here. Once this light changes, now we'll see what else we'll be able to show you guys. Well, 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 guys, look at this. We are in the United States of America now. Yeah. We have made it across. That's for sure. Now we're going to go on to the 75, I-75. Continue on this road yeah. for 51 miles. 51 miles? Alright. That's what RJ says, 51 miles to go down on this road. And it is Friday, so let's get out of Detroit. Sometimes traffic can be bad in Detroit too, but most of the times it's alright, but sometimes it's not so good. Good morning. Oh, speed warning? What are you screaming at me, RJ? What are you trying to tell me? I'm going too fast for you? Alright, I guess we'll slow our down. We don't want to get ourselves in trouble, right? <laughs> no, I don't want to. No. Looks like a little muggy up there, so we might get some rain or whatever. Might, might not, you never know, right? Don't know where I will be stopping at for tonight yet either. I haven't quite decided. I guess we'll just continue rolling and decide whenever we get to that point, right? Don't really have to push it at all today, but I just want to. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's continue on rolling and uh, we'll see what else we'll be able to uh, come up with. Well guys, we are finito for today. We are here at a petrol truck stop right now. Yeah, just sitting back and relaxing and just finished uh, putting together the video from, uh, I guess, two days ago. I'm a couple of days behind, so yeah, so we're just putting it together. I'm just lazy today. I'm feeling tired. So, I figured, well, I guess it's time to go to bed here pretty soon. So, I figured I close the show off and uh, go to bed, I guess, pretty soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it's probably not been uh, probably the greatest video, but, yeah, well, sometimes it's different than other days, you know, so. Anyways, that's all I got, so uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.